SpaceX has had a remarkable year in 2024, breaking records and making impressive progress. However, it hasn't been without its challenges. The company has faced significant issues, not only with its Starship rocket, but also with the typically reliable Falcon 9. And these issues have not happened just once, but on several occasions throughout the year. Recently, a major issue during a Falcon 9 mission led to the FAA grounding the rocket, which forced SpaceX to delay or cancel several important missions. This caused significant disruptions for the company, which relies on Falcon 9 for many of its launches. Now, the FAA has lifted the grounding, allowing Falcon 9 to return to flight. But despite this step forward, SpaceX still faces a major problem that could affect its future plans, and we'll cover all the details in this video. The recent grounding of Falcon 9 was the result of a technical anomaly that occurred during a mission on September 28, 2024. During the deorbit burn of the rocket's second stage, there was a malfunction that caused the booster to land outside the designated safety zone in the Pacific Ocean. This violation of FAA safety standards immediately drew the attention of regulators, who grounded Falcon 9 to ensure public safety. This incident was the third time Falcon 9 was grounded in 2024 alone. While SpaceX's track record with the Falcon 9 has historically been impressive, with over 250 successful missions under its belt. However, the second stage of the rocket in particular has been a source of problems this year, showing that SpaceX may need to tighten its safety checks. Historically, the Falcon 9 rocket has been hailed for its reusability, marking a revolutionary shift in the space industry. Introduced in 2010, Falcon 9 made space launches more accessible by allowing the reuse of rocket boosters, which drastically reduced costs. This long-standing trust in Falcon 9 is why the recent technical issues have sparked so much concern within the space industry. Despite these concerns, the FAA has authorized Falcon 9 to return to flight for the launch of the European Space Agency's HERA mission. This approval, however, comes with some caveats. The FAA has only cleared Falcon 9 for this one mission, with the key factor being that HERA's second stage won't re-enter Earth's atmosphere thereby mitigating the risks associated with the previous incidents. Other missions that involve second-stage re-entry burns are still on hold until SpaceX provides further assurances about safety improvements. In 2024 alone, the FAA fined SpaceX $633,000 for violating safety regulations on two different missions, and tension between the company and the FAA has been escalating. This has led to public disputes, with SpaceX CEO Musk calling for FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker's resignation. The recent delays have also affected SpaceX's larger ambitions, including its highly anticipated Starship launch, which was postponed after the FAA requested additional sonic boom analysis. One of the significant questions raised by SpaceX's recent setbacks is whether the company is pushing itself too hard and too fast. SpaceX has made its name by rapidly increasing its launch cadence, conducting multiple flights every month and setting ambitious goals for expanding space access. However, with the frequency of launches, the risks also increase, as evidenced by recent technical anomalies that have grounded some of their rockets. In 2021, SpaceX achieved a record 31 launches, nearly doubling that number the following year with 61 orbital missions in 2022. By 2023, the company shattered its previous record with an astounding 96 launches, representing 43% of all global orbital launches that year. In 2024, SpaceX is on track to exceed even that, with 67 launches completed by mid-year, and aiming for as many as 135 launches by the year's end. Although SpaceX's advancements have been revolutionary, achieving such high launch numbers comes with risks. With frequent flights, there's increased pressure on operational teams, rockets, and launch infrastructure. Musk, however, is thinking even bigger. He has publicly discussed the goal of launching 1,000 rockets per year in the future. This idea might seem extreme, but it ties into SpaceX's broader mission of making space travel as routine as airline flights. Achieving 1,000 launches annually would mean sending up an average of almost three rockets every day. 
a pace that no space organization has ever approached. To put this into perspective, before SpaceX came onto the scene, no space agency or private company had launched more than a few dozen missions annually. For example, in the peak of its operations, NASA averaged fewer than 30 launches per year. In contrast, SpaceX has drastically changed the landscape, launching 31 rockets in 2021, 61 in 2022. In 2019, Musk set a target to land humans on Mars by 2022, and without a doubt, SpaceX could have achieved this goal. However, the regulatory environment in the U.S., particularly with the FAA, has been a persistent roadblock. One of the biggest frustrations for SpaceX has been the paperwork and environmental reviews demanded by the FAA. In America, it often feels like paperwork takes longer than building a rocket. For example, after the first Starship test flight in April 2023, it took almost six months before the FAA cleared SpaceX for its second launch. This delay was largely due to the investigation into the significant debris and damage caused by the first flight, which included an explosion that spread ash and debris miles away from the launch site. The FAA required SpaceX to implement 63 corrective actions before issuing a new license. This prolonged process delayed subsequent flights, with the second test flight occurring in late 2023. The timeline between subsequent flights shortened slightly. From the second flight to the third, it took approximately 117 days, showing some improvement in turnaround time. However, the FAA's regulatory process has still posed significant delays, particularly due to environmental and safety assessments. For instance, the third test flight, which happened in March 2024, also saw SpaceX working on improving several systems before conducting the fourth test flight, which launched on June 6th. 2024, a little under three months later. Now it has been four months without a fifth flight, as SpaceX waits for approval from the FAA to proceed with its next launch. The delay in the fifth flight has been attributed to additional environmental and safety concerns raised by the FAA, including consultations with other agencies regarding the sonic boom and potential impacts on marine life. Musk has expressed his growing frustration with these delays, frequently taking to social media to criticize the FAA's regulatory approach. He has characterized many of the FAA's demands, such as the ongoing sonic boom analysis, as unnecessary and excessive. Musk has even suggested that the regulatory hurdles are slowing SpaceX's progress more than the technical challenges of building a space rocket. Musk expressed his frustration, saying, we will never get humanity to Mars if this continues. In response to these frustrations, there has been some movement in Congress. The FAA is reportedly working on introducing portfolio licenses that would allow companies like SpaceX to secure approvals for multiple launches at once, streamlining the process and reducing delays. However, such changes are still in development and Musk remains skeptical about whether they will be implemented in time to support SpaceX's tight schedules, especially considering his goal of sending humans to Mars. If you've watched this far, it means you are one of our loyal viewers and I've got something special just for you. We have highly realistic Starship models available on eBay, exclusively for our dedicated fans. Head to the link in the description and grab your own model. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.